Hello and welcome to another video and in this one we're going to be looking at uh, importing text uh, or copy pasting text into uh, Fantasy Grounds. Um, and the first thing that I want to look at is the variety of sources that uh, you might be using and how difficult or uh, easy it's going to be to uh, copy certain uh, texts from uh, various sources into uh, Fantasy Grounds. Uh, so let's open up uh, a new uh, story entry here and we'll look first of all at uh, a website. Um, we're going to look at the basic rules uh, from D&D uh, &D Beyond. So um, we're just going to sort of copy some text in here and then paste it in. And you can see that um, it's pretty good. Um, we, you know, we've got all the paragraphs. We've got a few extra spaces um, and all that kind of thing. So that's that's not too bad. So we're going to we're going to sort of call this um, sort of a good uh, source, if you like. Um, and let's now have a look at um, a, a PDF, um, and we'll look at the player's handbook uh, PDF. Uh, that uh, we use to create the uh, player's handbook. Um, and if we copy paste that, then it's, it's not so great. Um, we've got line breaks at the end of every sentence, which is pretty standard for uh, PDFs in, in my experience anyway. Um, and the, it, you know we, we've just got kind of a wall of text. So, so we're gonna designate this as uh, okay because um, it's relatively easy to, to clean this uh, up. Um, and if we start another uh, story entry here, and then we're going to look at the uh, SRD, uh, the System Reference Document for 5.1 uh, or for 5e. Uh, copy that and paste that in here, and you can see that this is dreadful. Um, we've got pretty much a line break at every word. We've got all sorts of um, stuff that uh, just isn't recognised. Uh, it's uh, just uh, a mess. So we're going to recognize, we're going to kill, call this one uh, a mess. Um, now, Fantasy Grounds is just not going to be able to clear this up at all. This one here, if we have a look at this, um, all we really need to do here is to right click uh, on the page and then go to this super useful tool um, here, which is the text cleanup tool. Uh, uh, click it, um, and you're pretty much done. Uh, I mean, there's there's an extra space up at the top here. Uh, we want that to be a header, so we're just going to control two to make that a header. But you can see that the tool has reduced the um, extra spaces. It's gotten rid of all of that, um, and it has done a pretty good job of uh, clearing up all of that text. It's 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 pretty much that's it. You know, you can just paste that in there and then use the cleanup tool um, and you've got a reasonable uh, page. This one here, um, if we again go to our cleanup tool, uh, we can see that that also uh, does a pretty good job of cleaning up that particular uh, text from that source. Um, it's missed a few things. Um, we can see here that uh, this uh, paragraph here has split um, so we need to kind of correct that and we can see that this one here is uh, also split so we need to correct that as well um, so we can do that uh, by eye and then uh, once we've uh, done all that then we can go through uh, and we can uh, do what we want to do with uh, the text uh, here. I mean, this is to keep it in line with, if you want to make an exact copy of the PDF, uh, this is uh, bold and italic text here, so is this. So you would just go through and sort all of that. Um, uh, this one here, as you can imagine, it just isn't gonna work. Uh, it, it takes out some of the uh, extraneous material, but it's, it just doesn't work at all. So for this particular uh, kind of scenario, you're really going to have to use uh, something like uh, Notepad. Uh, if we open up a uh, Notepad here uh, and we just uh, get that uh, bit of text again and copy that in. Um, 
at least in Notepad here, we can now actually do something about all of this uh, nonsense that's in the uh, PDF. Uh, we can uh, grab this here, uh, Control Copy, Control F to uh, bring up our Find and Replace. Uh, we've already got the Find What uh, automatically goes in there. Put it and replace it with nothing um, and just replace all. Um, we can then uh, have a look at this uh, bit here. This, for example, is, I think it's supposed to be a hyphen, but it's adding in some extraneous stuff. So we'll copy that. We'll paste that in there and we'll replace all uh, with that as well. Uh, we can then go through and uh, look for double spaces and replace all of those. Um, and then we can do uh, the paragraph thing. We can go in here, we can control J to get our paragraphs. Uh, that one's there and there's another one uh, there. And then this one here is all the way down to here. Control J. And again, we're still not really all that brilliant. Um, so let's get our double spaces again and we'll replace all. And that'll take out a lot of double spaces. You can see we've got spaces in the middle of words. It's just a mess. So this one here, you're going to have to uh, probably use something like Notepad to uh, clear up the text. Uh, for this, um, we can uh, column align that and get rid of that and that's getting something close to reasonable um, we can now copy that uh, and we can uh, get rid of all of this here uh, out of this one uh, and if we paste our new thing in then it looks a lot better uh, we can use the clean up tool if you want, but we've probably cleaned most of it up uh, in Notepad before we even got here. Um, so with a combination of uh, a good source for your uh, text uh, and the clean up tool, um, then the we can get text into Fantasy Grounds uh, pretty easily. Um, however, there are um, some hidden features in the cleanup tool, which I don't think have been published uh, anywhere really in any great detail at any rate. Um, and that is that the cleanup tool will actually recognize uh, various uh, markup codes for uh, parse uh, and for uh, HTML. So if we have a look at uh, the parse codes, uh, first of all, um, I've put this in here uh, off camera so that we don't waste a lot of time. Um, but if I uh, copy this uh, in here, let's get rid of all these. I will set up a new story entry here uh, and paste all that in uh, and then go to the cleanup tool. You can see that uh, magically um, it's added all the markup for the uh, for parse, uh, for or, the, or for the parse uh, codes, um, so this is, you know, it's given us uh, headers, it's given us bold paragraphs, um, it's given us italic paragraphs, bold sentences, italic sentences, bold and italic sentences, etc. We can uh, mark up lists, we can do tables and that kind of thing. Um, so. This is, this is the markup which is used to do that. So if you want to pause the video here, uh, then you can probably see uh, what the markup is. So most of it, it always starts with um, a hash, uh, it always ends with a semicolon, and then you've got um, a one, two, or sometimes three letter uh, word um, in there which um, designates what it is that uh, you're wanting to do. So if you want uh, a bold uh, italic sentence, then BIS um, preceded by the hash and ending with the semicolon. And that will give you a bold sentence uh, right up to the first full stop or colon. Um, and uh, similarly with a paragraph, a bold paragraph, uh, that gives you uh, a bold paragraph right up until you get to uh, a line break etc and all of these things like the table start here you've got to hash ts and then uh, that's the table start um, 
hash th is the table header which bolds these uh, headers you can see the columns here are um, separated by uh, colons um, they've got a row in the table here if you wanted to make a call span so if we wanted this column to be uh, four units uh, wide then insert four followed by uh, a colon uh, and four uh, by a colon if I copy paste that and again to just let you see that that uh, is working we'll just start a new story put that in here go to our markup tool you can see that these two columns now we we I deliberately didn't do it for the header column uh, just to illustrate that this uh, works in in that way so that's um, parse markup um, so I, again as I say if you wanted to uh, pause the video these are most of the ones that will be recognized uh, by the tool and obviously you're going to have to do this in a text editor um, before you put it in uh, or you can do it directly into a uh, fantasy grounds itself um, so if I start a new uh, thing and just uh, uh, go uh, hash uh, h and a colon uh, and then the type in header um, when I use the tool uh, that's going to automatically uh, put that in as a header so you can actually uh, do the uh, markup in fantasy grounds itself uh, or you can do it in a text editor and then copy paste whichever uh, way you want to do it uh, now the tool will also recognize uh, some basic uh, HTML uh, which is very similar to the way parse works um, but if we copy this uh, that I've done again off camera and paste that in here and then use our tool and you can see that pretty much the same kind of thing um, that we uh, saw with the uh, parse markup um, you can get uh, headers bold text, uh, italic text and things like that, uh, you can get uh, tables, you can get lists as well. Uh, and again, the markup for this is in there, if you want to pause the video uh, and get some idea of what the codes are. Um, it won't, uh, it won't, uh, a, 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 a it won't accept sort of very complicated uh, HTML. It's, it's, it's fairly simple stuff: uh, tables, uh, headers, uh, lists, that kind of thing, bold, italic text, text, and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of stuff it, it won't recognize, and and you'll get an error if you try and uh, put in something that's too complicated. Um, but sometimes you can see the uh, source of the of a website and it might be an HTML, it might be quite simple and you might be able to sort of copy that and paste it directly into uh, Fantasy Grounds and then use the uh, tool. Um, so I think that's uh, pretty much uh, it. I hope that this is uh, useful uh, for uh, the people people who are want to copy uh, a lot of text into uh, Fantasy Grounds. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.